Hey, what's up, everyone? Let me know in the chat if you can hear me and see the screen. Uh, it's kind of a last minute thing. I'm going to try and answer people's questions if they have anything today. I'm going to be talking about Advanced Themer. And uh, the lifetime deal was, uh, I guess, reannounced. It's coming back for the uh, one year anniversary. So it's crazy that it's only been a year. Uh, this is a tool I use every single day on every single Bricks website I use because building without it is just wasting time, <laughs> honestly. Uh, if you build websites professionally and you, uh, you know, you charge people money and, you know, do this regularly, you should be considering this tool set because it's uh, pretty tremendous. I mean, kind of one of the things that it's famously known for is just how many things it, it actually does. You can see here, nice little preview of all the little things here. I haven't even really checked out the new site here, but there are just an untold number of things. And we have the infamous creator, Maxime, in the chat. Welcome. Um, yeah, we're, we're just hanging out and check out Advanced Themer little bit maybe do a build i have a bunch of stuff pulled up um including a bunch of notes that are actually out of date now because there's just so many releases so uh we'll go through some of it maybe and hang out i have to work later so i'm not going to stream forever this is very last minute and um i guess a little bit of housekeeping if you want to uh I, I, everyone's probably part of the advanced themer group i hope it's not leaking anything if i share this right um where's the announcement where's the announcement lifetime deal uh am i missing it oh yeah here read this uh, lots of details in here about the LTD. It's back for some undisclosed amount of time, but you, you will get a warning 48 hours in advance, apparently, of when it's going to end. So, uh, yeah, it's been, an, it's been a year, I guess. There's been so many changes here. And, oh, look, got a little shout out there. There's yours truly. And some other people that have made some great videos about that. Uh, you can go to the Advanced Themer site, and there's a media tab here, I believe, which has a lot of good videos from different people. And I'd recommend watching some of these. Um, yeah. Okay, so we have someone in the chat here. I'll try and try and answer stuff as best I can. Uh, I'm new to all this. How would this compare to Core Framework and ACSS? That is a question that comes up a lot, for sure. Uh, you know, I'm not going to say I have all the answers on, th on that for sure. Uh, I do have a site here where I only have AT. So, I mean, on I use automatic CSS on almost every site. I've used Core Framework quite a bit, too. Uh, there's a lot of very similar functions, of course. Uh, and the bulk of it's, like, for me, almost 90% overlap. And, uh, you know, there's there's some important distinctions between the different frameworks. Uh, you can definitely use just automatic CSS to, I mean, sorry, just advanced themer to get your color variables and your, you know, grid variables and spacing variables, things like that, typography, fluid spacing, things like that. I don't think we need AT if we have ACSS. See, that's an interesting distinction too. I mean, that's, I would definitely disagree with that because if you come to advanced themer, there are just so many settings here that are just not in automatic CSS. The, the only overlap for me is, um, again, like the, like, let me just turn off automatic CSS for a second. Let me make sure I deactivate it. And if we, I guess I can just go directly into the builder then refresh this. And I can be honest, I don't actually use the, uh, the color system in automatic CSS. That was the, one of the things, I mean, sorry, in advanced theme, I'm going to keep doing that, aren't I? Uh, 
let me close that too. I don't need that. Uh, the color system. Let's see what we got. Global color manager. So Maxime would, would be the, the guy for this for sure. So, you know, you can come in here and create your color system. You can create your color variables, uh, generate complementary colors, generate shades. You can have auto shades, custom shades, numbers of shades. You can decide if you want your dark shades, your transparent colors, all that. So in that sense, you can come do that. And then of course, in the, I believe it's in here, in the uh, global colors, this is activated global CSS variables. Uh, you you know you can come in if you're used to using core framework or automatic CSS you can come and rename these I think this does translate I think this is space in the other uh, frameworks instead of gaps I mean you can and you can also import your framework right so you can come in here you can import I believe you can auto, I believe I've imported automatic CSS directly in here too but certainly core framework you can do. Um, what about the site speed? Yeah, I I don't notice any performance issues for sure. I mean, the only performance issues that I have are in the back end of bricks with complex sites, and I don't think that's I don't think that seems to be anything to do with plugins. So I mean, who knows? I don't I don't know how to test any of that stuff. <laughs> Both my pay grade. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I'm I'm probably not going to do like a huge huge project or anything today um one of the things i'm thinking about doing is just building a site with just automatic css i gotta keep doing it with just advanced theme or sorry maxine i'm gonna keep doing that uh <laughs> uh yeah so i mean it comes with acf right so i can start adding dynamic data easily and there's just there's just so much right I don't even know where to start. <laughs> I could go to see what I've got on this page. So some of this is like, I, I have a couple videos, right? On, on advanced themer, there are um, also tons of other videos on, I've just, I made one recently on just the structure panel, right? So everything that you see over here, uh, if I zoom in, does that work? All these guys here. We've got our ID styling in the red. We can see our tree. We can see that this is lit, lit up blue uh, in the best parent, right? So we can expand children like that. So you don't have to expand the entire tree up here. So lots of stuff going on here that uh, is actually pretty subtle. And I do have, I believe, a bricks vanilla site with no automatics with with only automatic css and without advanced themer and that might be something to test out it's just like i have built so few sites with just bricks at this point right it's it's been a year plus of, of having all these good things so first of all we don't have our quick ad here so we hit, we uh, don't have that. And then um, this is one thing. Yeah, so you don't have uh, any indications in the panels here. Uh, if I drag some of these around, we can obviously create cards, no auto BEM. All right, I don't even have settings turned on to the delete here this is just plain plain old bricks uh but we're missing all the contextual things here we're missing delete move up we're missing class converters we're missing all those things um this is back to at we have delete and move children up we have these move and indents hide elements and you can add things to this this is all uh, customizable in terms of what you turn on and turn off so that's the nice thing about at is that there are just so many features that you can go in and just tweak with right this is what i use on 
on every site is just builder tweaks because I'm very frequently just using a frameworks, right? So I don't I don't have everything turned on. Um, yeah, let me see. Let me see on my other screen here. Just checking. I don't know if I should post live stream here, I guess. I'm just trying to grab a copy on the other screen here. Um, yeah, I mean, if you guys have any more questions, please, please let me know. I can just start building stuff, I guess, and see, see what I, see what I run into. Um, pull it up on another screen here. Yeah, let's, uh, what's, what do I have on the front page? Yeah, sorry, we're all over the place. I'm, you can tell I really do this professionally. Trying to get Maxime to uh, consider adding some kind of test playground so people can come in and test it um, because there are just so many things. And a lot of it is you can customize it to your workflow. Uh, there's sort of un untold <laughs> amounts of things. Uh, I see here there's a new toggle here to turn the keyboard shortcuts on. So again, I can press shift and see my structures there and I don't need to uh, necessarily hold shift of course I can just start adding things right and you can nest I've done all this before sorry if it's a bit of a repeat but like that all right so you can easily come in and I don't even need to create classes right now I can just start styling Gaps a little much, right? Let's go small. Get my buttons in. And I mean, this is just a bricks thing, but love being able to wrap. And I can add, you know, another button. Let's duplicate, I guess. Oops. You know, so there's untold amount of things we can do here, right? Um, I have styling just on the ID level. You can see here in the red and we can do the class converter. Now I don't have it enabled here. It looks like I like having that on my right click, but it's like I can just open this and class converter. But maybe I don't even have it turned on. What am I looking for? <laughs> what a great demo guys. Uh, let's see here. Structure panel, class converter. I like having that on. I like having the component class manager as well. Yeah, the, the interface is more streamlined, even with all the features. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I think once you're used to it, you just, what it's a lot of these tools, I think, uh, and for me, automatic CSS is the same way as advanced themer here, where you might not see the power of these things right away, but you will build a site with it, build another site with it, build another site, go back and tweak the first site, and then you'll maybe get a site that doesn't have those tools on it already or you'll you know inherit a, an old site or you're going back to your sites that you built before you got these tools and you will quickly see oh man i don't want to where are all the where are all my tools where's all my stuff uh that's how i feel for sure and i'm sure i know that there's people out there that agree with that all right so what can we do um we've got id styling here on my card i can i didn't even turn this on i think it's here right Okay, so export ID styles to class, right? So we've got this new class context menu here. 
all these superpowers in here. So we can export ID styles to a class. We can create a new class, call it card new. And wait, let's see, let me make sure. Type your class name here. Yeah, is this gonna do it? Uh, that did not do it. So let's undo that. Um, so used to the right click. Class converter, no. Export ID styles to class. That's what I want to do. It's inside the class context menu. Yeah, it's right here. But what am I what am I missing? Oh, there we go. Okay. Did I maybe it did it before? <laughs> I want to create my better workflow. Exactly. I want to come back to my structure panel. I want my wasn't it in here? Am I, am I losing my mind, guys? Oh, extend classes. I don't know. That's another good one. Anyway, we've we've now converted our ID styling. Um, but the other thing we can do, right? So let me undo that. And we still have our ID styling now. And we can do the class converter. So we can make our card. We'll call this dem card. And it's updating everything here. You can click here to change this CTA wrapper. Button, button. Maybe you don't want to put your buttons in there. Maybe we don't want that, right? And of course, we have the copy ID styles. This is another one of the big differences that uh, Auto BEM and ACSS uh, is still missing, which I believe is maybe coming. We'll see. Uh, but. We can erase the ID styling and copy the ID styles to a class, and that'll do it. And now we have the blue indicator, of course, that our card is created. Thank you, Maxime. I'm sure Maxime's just like screaming at his keyboard, like, it's the, what are you doing? You're butchering my, my product. Well, this is what you get. This is what you get when, when I don't have an affiliate deal I can make money off of, you know? It's just how it works. Um, right, so we don't have the convert ID styling on here. And we do have some other options. There's some nice options in AutoBem here. Anyway. So we've got our BEM card. And again, in the structure panel, we see our card selected. If I du duplicate the same card, split up to say that the same class, right? Um, what else can we do? Let's do let's do like a find and replace that thing. That's a thing, right? So we've got row gap of S. Now, of course, these are on a on a class, so this is not the value, right? But, but we can uh, space S. Let me make sure. Yeah, we can just replace space S with space uh, space M, for instance, right? And we're going to do it on all properties, right? And we can include it in global classes and it'll find and replace on those, right? So now that's M. And that, of course, is on a class, but it becomes, it becomes even more powerful when, let's see, we can do an example. I, now I see, now I see why Maxime is always like, oh, you just do, you just do class one, two, three, four, and then like duplicate that a bunch of times it's it's hard to give it's hard to give real life examples just on the fly and uh that's part of the the benefit of of live streaming or the downside i guess rather <laughs> it's like what am i doing i am uh i get a little you know a little stage fright of course uh what, what can i do here let's let's do these at um something atrocious and that's on a different class, right? But I can, I believe I should be able to come on the any class and do find and replace. And do, let's do M back to S on every property on the fall. Let's just do it on all categories instead of choosing an element. And you just do it inside the same section and we're going to search on the, on everything. So, so we've got our, 
you know, row gap and as every padding, including the padding on the card and the padding here. So everything is changed. Grid builder feature. Uh, yeah, let's look at the grid. Build the grid. Um, are my shortcuts on? B, 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 B. I don't know. Let's just like. Uh, I guess we could actually put content in here, right? Um, what do I want to do? Maybe I'll just grab one of these. And. Okay, so we got an image. Let's see. Uh, let, what can I do here? I can copy class to keyboard. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do here. Uh, what do I have any images on here? Um, okay. I don't, I don't know what I want to do. I mean, I guess let's, let's just do, let's just do simple, something simple. Um, on the ID, I'll just change some of these backgrounds, like EG ultra dark and that could be a thing and I don't know make a let's make a dark card uh, not here let's make it on this guy oops Dark card, I guess we'll just turn this off. Um, okay. Should have some context colors here, BG Ultra. Uh, I don't know. Now, what are these? These are turned off, I guess, huh? Oh no, I've put them on the ID styles. So, what can I do here? Uh, export ID styles to class. Let's see, is there a way if I activate that, can I import ID styles to class like that? Yep. So, fear not, if you are stuck styling on the ID level, you can switch it up. All right. Um, Grid. I don't know. What can we do? I have it turned on. So you go to your container and you select grid. And there's a little grid builder here. Excuse me. And we've got our FRs. And you can just start adding stuff. Now I've been I've been messing around with uh Figma or not Figma, Ten Pot more. And it's very similar to this. It's very fun. And honestly, if you guys didn't play with quickly, that was that was a fun thing too. RIP. RIP. So just instantly you get grid. Uh it's just gonna import it, I believe. If I come to my container, it's just gonna import it as FRs. Um what can you do? You can do min-max. I haven't rested with this in a ton of time. I think I can put variables in here, right? I don't know if I need to do could do what I could just do grid gap right yeah so that in fact it previews there nice job cool so yeah grid builder is very fun and you can you can keep duplicating things uh, oops oh is that a browser I don't like that Uh, if you duplicate it, you're going to notice that it's still in the same place because it's like setting the span, I believe, like right on the right on the container here, I guess. I don't know. Grid flow dense. Now, is this I don't even know if that's in in bricks. In my well, go back to my where's my bricks test here. Not always been in there. 
<laughs> I swear, I swear I use this every day. Um, anyway. Test page. Yeah, I mean, Grid Builder's fun. Um, let's see, I was working on... I'm trying to find if I can pull something up on another screen here. Or just uh, maybe just start building... I had, I had a fun grid build, grid layout pulled up here somewhere. Uh, yeah, not sure. Very organized. Um, yeah, I don't know. We could just start, start building stuff and see what comes up, I guess. I don't know if anyone has any other questions in particular. Happy to answer any questions. <clears throat> now, can I have this auto like locked on whenever I put it on and then save it? Can that be the state that it remembers? That would be nice. Good gap. Um, oh, the other thing I wanted to actually test that might be use you guys as guinea pigs, I guess. I don't know. Uh, this wrap and unwrap stuff is is pretty interesting. Um, which I have not used a ton, but seems very powerful because you can. Uh, what can I do here? Can I do X? Does it, it, I think it picks up my, um, picks up my classes. It should, right? Text. Yeah. And if I wrap that, does it do anything? <laughs> I don't know if that does anything. But you can quickly unwrap stuff too. So if you get, stuff gets really complicated, you know, if you're putting styling on, couple things you can you know whatever wrap that wrap that and select it all and unwrap it so that is extremely powerful you should be able to have my text be Hmm. I don't know, I've got that to work before. My syntax is probably wrong, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Can I wrap it in that? I need to do color. Red? Ah, okay. So that works. I mean, I guess you could put, uh, I need to put color here. <laughs> I didn't use this that much, God, sorry. Let's uh, unwrap everything. Hmm. Interesting. Can I just do primary? No. What am I doing wrong? Maxime, Maxime, help. This should work though, right? No. Wow, this is a great tutorial. <laughs> it seems to be removing spaces here. I don't know if that's me hmm. fun stuff anyway what can i do uh let's see i had I had some stuff pulled up where did it where to get here it is we could create like glasses right for i don't know highlight 
And I should be able to like, uh, ooh, let's see, component class manager, generate with AI, make this class a highlighter yellow, ground yellow, question mark, does that work? Should work, right? Hey, it works. So, could do that. And if I take the class off now, though, and if I add a class tag of highlight, should work, right? Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes it works. Okay, so that field's only for classes. So that, so that works, though. Um, there you go. You can spice up your text. Beautiful highlighter yellow. Uh, what other, what other, like, I was, cause I was thinking like it would be useful to have some, some utility classes. You can just throw on bits of text like that. Um, I don't know. Can, can I just do like mm, larger? There's already a text larger class, but. Make the font larger on the larger class. Oops, I lost my prompt. Let's do that. Make the font larger. Oops, I need to press enter. Font size. Can it do, isn't, does, does it just accept larger? I think it does, right? Oh, well, yeah, it already did. But this is on the heading, so if I had, like, uh, a bunch of text in here, I could put larger on one of these, presumably. Yeah. That sort of works. <laughs> And we can unwrap it. Cool. So, you can create a little couple utility classes that you can use, I guess. Yeah, I'd be interested to see what the Webflow Grid Builder has. That AP doesn't. I haven't seen that yet. I'll check it out after this. Um, yeah, I mean, I think... The, like the quickly the quickly build the quickly one is uh pretty much replicated here because before you couldn't drag that way so that's the nice i don't guess it's useful <laughs> i don't know i liked it it's more intuitive much better ui like user experience uh, i'd be like i'd like to see what they have to do uh what else what are their little utility classes i know you know, we could do highlight underline alec i don't know outline outline text i don't know if this is like the best way to do it. you probably want to manage these things somewhere that you actually can see a little better but um anyway on class manager outline make this text outlined it should do uh yeah sometimes it gives you like a text shadow i noticed which was kind of interesting but um that didn't do much i thought that did anything just made a I don't know, bolder um anyway Exciting stuff. What else? What else? I know this was the outlined outline text I had before. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's my font. Maybe I have no idea what I'm doing. Maybe maybe people will figure it out. 
All right, what else? What else I got on the notes? I don't know. How long have we been even going? I feel like I've done nothing. 37 minutes? Oh. We have some coffee. Where's everyone calling in from? We got some Europeans in the chat, I, I imagine. It's not too late there, right? It's like evening. Hmm. All right, well, we've got our highlighters. You can see what else I have in my settings here. Builder tweaks. Builder tweaks. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I've... I use so many of these, like, more Mipsum generator, component class manager comes into handy a lot style indicate responsive uh there's i don't know there's just so many so many things guys basic text converter right i mean there's just everything oh god i keep jumping around here sorry about that x mode Good guide, contrast checkers, responsive helpers. Man, there's just too many nice things. I don't know. What can we do? What can we do? We can start, start building some random page, I guess. I don't know. It'd be nice to do this with all advanced themer colors. I don't, I don't feel like that. I'm already struggling to uh, get around here, so... I don't feel like that's going to be a good use of my time. Action color is going to be going away. I'm going to turn that off. Uh, I don't like that. That's that's a little much for our primary. I don't know. And Mark. Denmark. I went to Denmark. Denmark was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. I stayed in Odense and I stayed in Copenhagen. And that was a lot of fun. Biked around the whole city for weeks. Uh, what are we, what are we going to do? I don't know what we're going to do. Let's just make some pretty grids. Oh wait, we got a, we got a bento grid generator, right? So... I don't know. Do I need a certain amount of FRs? Seems like it breaks sometimes. Well, that's fun. And we can... I think this also works with... Uh, right? We can put this on classes. So... Let's delete all these. Generate random bento grid. Well, do I need to put these in first, I guess? Eh, that didn't work. Put it in there, right? Oh, you know what happened? I've got all those spans <laughs> on the ID. Or where are they? No, they're on the... What am I looking for? I guess we're good. Okay. Fun. We've got overlapping colors. And you should be able to, like, overlap those, right? Yeah. 
Why doesn't it seem to be five grid? There. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to see the uh, Webflow one. I mean, I'm not doing this very good demo right now for sure. I have to have something planned here more. I'll probably maybe I'll do a little a little research, a little uh, planning, so you guys have a little a little better experience in the chat. Um. Yeah, because it's it's a little tough to I think what people want to see. Yeah, I'd like this to stay toggled on when I when I tell it to. I tried to get Maxine to not take it out, but you know how it goes. Any images on here? I don't really have anything good on here. These are all the low quality. Uh, what do I got? I don't know. I'm getting pinged on Discord here. Ah, oh. well, that's what happens when you stream in the middle of the day. All right, well, I might have to go go pretty soon. And uh, maybe I'll plan this plan this a little more. <laughs> and we can actually do something useful with our time. Yeah, I gotta I gotta go through all this stuff probably and give people something good to look at. But if you guys have any other additional questions, I'll stick around for a little bit. Anyone asking about stuff screen here yeah yeah i mean i don't know what's what's a good use of use of time here looking at looking at some of the change logs maybe And again, yeah, go check out Maxime's videos. He, he does a much better job at uh, showcasing this stuff. I'm, I'm a little on the spot here. I thought this might be useful, but I don't know if. Uh... Anyway, I guess I guess the first rule of live streaming is telling everyone it's everything's going really well, and you know, there's confidence confidence in the uh, pilot here, where I mean, he's not going to take everyone down with him. AT main menu. Yeah, I mean, I don't even like I don't have any SaaS stuff ready to go, which is going to disappoint people. So that's fun. Copy and paste, reset all the global classes. Uh, well, that's useful for you Tailwind fanatics out there. If you have a billion utility classes applied to your stuff, you can copy and paste those classes pretty easily. Yeah, any, that's a good question. Anything I can leave disabled that gets in the way. Um, that's a good question. I yeah, I mean if you'll notice I don't have the shortcuts on the left hand side. And I know people love that. And I don't know, I might I might try it again. Uh the other thing that I find kind of annoying, let me go back, sorry, jumping around here. To turn off for me. Let me go over to here. Yeah, I mean like I turn off the variable pickers club color previews this is more because of automatic css um i do turn off let me go here hide inactive style uh, this i find not intuitive personally when this is on all the inactive accordions are closed i mean i'll, I'll turn it on and i will close this out and refresh this And for me, this, I find this a little confusing because let me, let's just reread it. When this option is checked, all the inactive accordion panels inside the style tab will be hidden and only the opened accordion panel will show up. So that is like when I'm on an element, I click on style and then I'm on border. I only see border stuff, which is kind of a focus mode. Um, 
you know, if you're just focusing on border, but if I want to know what other styling is on this element, I can't quickly get an overview of like, okay, there's background colors or there's, I can see that there's a typography setting on here. So like, right. For instance, if I'm on, if I'm on some of the, like if I'm on background, I want to know, do I have like, oh, my, my color is not showing up correctly on my text. Like I, I want to know, oh, I guess I have a typography setting. So that is, that's the big one. I don't know, big one, whatever. It's just the main, main one that I definitely turn off. I don't, I don't care for that workflow. Uh, so anyway, whatever, that's just me. Uh, you can see I turn, I turn a lot of stuff on here. Lore Mipsum generator is pretty interesting. I like this idea, and I think this would be maybe an interesting thing for Maxime to consider is using the, I don't know, maybe using the AI generator or having this be like a prompt almost and say, you know, this is website text for a whatever, you know, rental company. And somehow the text would be generated based off this prompt. I don't know. It's kind of a something something to give him something to look forward to doing he's already got sass in here uh expanding spacing controls id file that's nice uh yeah i mean the the shortcuts these are all now turned off and remember that you need to come in here and toggle this class context menu on if you want this uh or sorry no if you want this this class context menu a lot of people are asking that question where the heck did all those things go they're no longer in this right click well you can Make sure to turn this on and i also you can see i have a couple things turned on extend global classes uh i mean i don't i don't use that a ton but copy class to keyboard i like that i really like that you can just come in here and customize this i i hope these stay in honestly i know they're legacy now but i hope those stay in uh what else don't i turn on the yeah the, the tweaks on the on the right left the left hand side here with the shortcuts I don't know. I just feel like it got a little cluttered. Me. Yeah, it's gonna be nice to see how ACS and ET behaves. Yeah, I, I look the I look at them as completely complementary. They're they're two plugins I use on every single site, uh, without question, because it's just speeds up speeds up everything. What else? The elements. I guess I could turn on these left-hand shortcuts. Give it a shot. I'd probably do those. Probably do borders, CSS. I think that would probably be all I would turn on there. I turn on overflow as dropdown. Key tag by default. Otherwise, it's a div. Figure by default. No caption for images. Very nice. And this works on every this this uh, you toggle these on and it I believe it turns them off on on elements that you've already added to. So. Yeah, let's save that. And I mean, I guess I, I yeah, but we should take a look at the left hand shortcuts. I mean, this is one of the you know main features for sure, along with um, along with this on the uh, right hand side for quick ads there. Now, didn't I turn this on? Oh, great. Getting Cloudflare errors. Those are turned on. Okay. Yeah. I mentioned that core framework is similar. You don't mess, miss anything between ACSS. No, I mean, I do. I do miss things. Um, ACSS has ton of stuff i mean there's a bunch of utility classes that are useful there's content grid there's um, i mean the the button system is i mean I, I the problem is it's all getting revamped in, in 3.0 so it's like it's hard to to really talk about any of that publicly yet so i mean there's probably going to be some comparison videos you know that come out i'm sure I think with core you have to you have to set up a little bit more with core um for instance if i 
you know, when I add a section here, I mean, and there's, these are fairly simple things to add, right? But when I add a section, there's that automatic spacing on my section. I don't have to come in here to my section and, or my, I guess it's on the container. I don't know. I don't have to come in here and set any of this stuff in here. With core, you can set it with, you know, um, whatever. When you do like a where with the brick section, brick section, so you can do it across the whole website and you can do that. I think I have a video on that. Uh, if not, there's someone else that does, I believe. Uh, there's, I mean, ACSS, you're paying for a community, right? You're paying for a, a, a product and a vision too. So it's, it's not just the features. Yeah. Anyway, I don't want to get too distracted here. I'm already, like, my ADD is just going insane here. So, uh, what else? What else? I don't know. I had I had such grand visions for this stream. I was like, I got all this stuff planned. We're going to do all these demos. I have everything planned. It's all ready to go. Mark, you're late, man. Everyone go subscribe to Mark Szymanski. Good man. Uh, all right, Maxime, where are my, where are my left-hand shortcuts here? How do I get them on? Left tab shortcuts. Where are they at? Is this a bug? Hope not. Oh man, what do we where do we go from here, boys? I don't know. Strict editor is another really cool place to to explore. This is one of the more unexplored things. I tried to show like the AI thing. The AI integration is also pretty unexplored. Definitely recommend uh coming in here and trying out the AI stuff. Uh but the Yeah, the variable managers is everything, right? We have find and replace global, right? So you can, this does affect global classes too. So you can do find and replace on your global classes with variables, everything. Oh yeah, open AI assistant. You can add some prompts here. Make me an image of Maxime, the advanced themer developer celebrating his one year anniversary I think it'll work I don't know if I need to do anything here I hope it gives me something really weird oh I need to click on an element okay yes Oh man, this made it all worth it. This made it all worth it, boys. I don't know. It looks <laughs> looking a little wonky. It's got some Yeah. Okay. Okay. I like it. <sighs> that made it all worth it. Yeah, you can see our strict editor here. You can control what your clients have access to. Right. Make sure that you save, because that otherwise it won't save. Right, so I have to click on an element, right? So I've got element heading. And I guess the idea is that what I was complaining about before, where if I'm on layout, it wasn't showing the other stuff. Oh, it is. It's still doing that. So if I click on background, I'm not seeing the distractions of other things. I don't know. I guess border, it looks like it's showing that I have things on this background. So if I exit that and then come to border, there's a little yellow sidebar here. You can see it there. So that's indicating I do have styling on the border. So maybe I've just converted myself to the dark side here. And now I'm going to have to leave this enabled here because if you can see that I do have stylings there, then uh, 
Yeah, that's, that solves my main gripe. Right. So add stuff here. It should work. And if I go back to like typography, yeah. So that's that's kind of nice. More icons. I don't know. I just I'm I'm after the quickly debacle. I'm just kind of over icons. I need text. I need text. Hey, Delsing in the chat. Uh, are there settings in Bricks when you load ACSS 3.0 that will mess up later if you don't get them set right? Uh, potentially. I don't. I'll have to check it out. Uh, Dan, thanks for coming. Appreciate you tuning in. Hopefully we'll we'll get better at this. <laughs> uh, are there settings in Bricks that when you load ACS as 3.0 that will mess you up later? Uh, not really. Are there settings in Bricks when you load ACS? Not really. The only settings you have to change in in automatics in, in Bricks itself really is setting your fonts here and setting your container width to be. You know the same as uh what you have in automatic css now there's a, this this dashboard's going away right this is all going to be on the front end and you know you want to make sure that it you have your breakpoint set to the same right so yeah i um i'm gonna have to go pretty soon too i it's been an hour which is probably more than I should have done. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to go pretty soon. So I appreciate everyone sticking in and make sure you check out Advanced Themer. I'm going to try and talk to Maxime again and see if he wants to like get the get a test ground, test playground going for it because I think that would be really helpful to people to come in here because you really want to figure out how it affects your own workflow and what kind of features you want to come in and and enabled. I think a lot of people feel overwhelmed, absolutely, with the number of features. There's no doubt about that. And I do too. And you can see me hunting around and pecking around a little bit. And like, I'm the whatever, quote unquote, guy who's here showing you how to do it. Uh, and part of that is just me being, you know, a little nervous and whatever. Performance anxiety, so to speak. But I do recommend you coming in and checking out these videos looking at these things, seeing if anything clicks to say, oh, you know what? That does sound like it would be helpful to my workflow. So definitely recommend that. And yeah, if you want to support me, I've got, I don't know, I've got like a, whatever, just some website I threw up here that you, I don't know, I think I've got a, if you want to buy me a coffee, you can. I have a note here that contributions may also go to tacos. So you guys want to work on a project you want to ask me any questions feel free to shoot me an email fill out the form and yeah i hope to maybe do another one of these maybe get maxime on the on the call see if he wants to answer questions too i don't know we'll see but anyway thanks for tuning in everyone have a good weekend 